Have you ever felt like more people have peanut allergies now than ever before? Well, that's because they do. But what you probably haven't heard about is the work that so many scientists are doing to try to remedy this. So let's break it down. But first, sing it with me. When you're allergic to nuts, it's because your body overreacts to what it thinks is a poison. After your body processes the peanut protein, it makes an antibody called IgE. And this is what tells your body to have an inflammation response. Now, the first remedy from scientists is probably one you've already heard of, the EpiPen. This is a quick fix to reduce the body's inflammation response, which can close airways. But another fix you may have heard of addresses the problem at the start, and that's exposure therapy. By precisely prescribing peanut proteins through injections, tablets, or a patch, you can, over the course of months or years, acclimate your body to produce less IgE. Though of course, there is still always the risk of a negative reaction. So another group of researchers are looking to solve the problem here. They developed a new antibody that once it's in your system targets IgE and stops it from triggering inflammation. The first study looking at how this can help with allergies was only published last year, but the results were promising and it was approved by the FDA. But some researchers are looking into a completely different problem, which is that people who only have mild allergies sometimes need completely different kinds of treatment and can go overlooked in these studies. For some people, being able to tolerate two peanuts would be a miracle. That's their end goal. And for others, it's their starting point. Researchers looked into how best to help these overlooked kids in a study called Cafeteria. Oh, I, I know we all love a great ham-fisted acronym, and that one's just mwah. And of course, others are trying to figure out why this rise of allergies is happening in the first place. Some researchers believe this is caused by how our gut microbiomes have changed over the years. But there are still many unanswered questions, like why are peanut allergies in particular so common? How much of this has to do with genetics? And why do some allergies suddenly appear or disappear as you age? This is a complex issue, like a lot of issues, but that doesn't mean that doctors, researchers, and families aren't willing to put in the work to try hey, to I just solve. got some news from the government. Apparently, peanut allergies is on a list of words that will make a study get extra scrutiny for funding. What? Yeah, apparently RFK Jr. has linked peanut allergies to childhood vaccinations. Was that anywhere in your research? No. Yeah, I, I, I figured. Um, sorry, what were you guys saying? But that doesn't mean that researchers, doctors, and families aren't willing to put in the work to do something about it.